Welcome to Tooling Up, a series by MSC Industrial Supply Company that provides real-world insights brought to you by leading industry experts and aimed at improving the efficiency and productivity of your operations. What's up everybody, this is Eddie with MSC and welcome to MSC's Tooling Up featuring Kenna Metal. Today we're going to talk about one of Kenna Metal's toughest tools, the Mill 412 KT. And here to tell us everything that we need to know about this tool, we have our good friend from the Kenna Metal team, Tony. Hey Tony, thank you so much for joining us today. And before we get started, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do for the team at Kenna Metal. Oh, absolutely. Good morning, Eddie. Great to be here with you guys again. My name is Tony McLean. I've been with uh, Kenna Metal for about 10 years. I'm a regional product marketing manager. So I pretty much cover the indexable milling uh, products that Kenna Metal has to offer. Um, I work with our global product managers around the world, as well as our marketing department, as well as our field support guys, our sales guys, and, and do a lot of training and application support for our customers as well. Well, wonderful. We thank you so much for joining us as our industry leading expert. And as we get started, we know something very special about the Mill 412 KT is its tangential mounting. So for those of us who may not be as familiar, tell us one, what that means and why it's so important for the Mill 412 KT. Well, Eddie, typically there's two types of mounted inserts out there. There's the radial mounted inserts, which is probably the most common when we come to face milling or 90 degree shoulder mills, as you see there in the photo. And then there's tangential mounted inserts. So the Mill 412 KT, it's, it's uh, the four stands for the four corners that it gives you on the insert. It's a 12 millimeter IC. So there's where you get the Mill 412. And then the KT stands for kinemetal tangential. Well, very good, very good. And as we've talked about this tool, we have the idea that it can run faster while also maintaining that strength. How does it do this, Tony? Well, as you could have, as you've seen in the photo there, a, a tangential mounted insert versus, let's say, a radial mounted insert is, is typically, by the way, it fits into the pocket. So you can see a tangential mounted insert is shallower when a radial mounted insert has to go into the cutter further, so it goes into the body deeper, I guess, if we can call it that. So basically with the radial mounted, you get a smaller uh, core diameter versus tangential mounted, you get a larger core diameter. So you also get the support behind the insert, then you get you get all the cutting forces pushed into the insert versus with the radial mounted where everything's out there hammering on an unsupported corner of the insert. So a tangential mounted insert, and it just gives you added strength. It gives you the uh, added core diameter, which gives the cutter more rigidity and more strength. So it, it enables you to be able to run higher feed rates, heavier chip loads, and of course, increase your metal removal rate. Well, very good. And so translating that back into a shop owner's perspective, when it comes to the mill 412 KT, how could a stronger and faster tool change operations at the spindle? Hey, great question. So, you know, we always say time is money. So when we're when we're looking at a job that's been quoted, you get it out there on your machine tool and, and you, you know, you start whittling away on it, as I say. You know, we want to think about how we can get the highest metal removal rate we can. And, you know, we not only do we want high metal removal rate, but we want good tool life and, and we want a stable process. I mean, we can get high metal removal rates a lot of different ways, but if we're having to stop the machine and we're having to index inserts or change inserts or things of that nature, then you're really not benefiting any any significant way because you're having to stop the machine all the time and make adjustments and do things differently so with the tangential again you get the strength of the tangential insert you get the 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 impact or the forces going back into the the long part of the insert back into the cutter body you got that larger core diameter so you get that added strength and rigidity there you go. Very important things to an operator indeed and as we're continuing to talk about the mill 412 KT Let's take a second to compare it to maybe some other carbide cutters in the world of face milling. So how do you think it stacks up in the market? I think it stacks up very well. I mean, um, you know, 
There's a lot of factors when we think about machining and how we're going to approach a part and how we're actually going to, you know, machine it. And when we think about face mills or, or 90 degree shoulder mills, so in some applications you're just face, facing material off, and some applications you're going up against a, a wall or, or a shoulder, which we refer to as shoulder milling. So you can see from the tangential insert itself that uh, it does have like an integrated wiper facet built into the insert. It has a margin relief. So it actually pulls about 15% less horsepower uh, than some of the other cutters that are available out there on the market. So it's, it's free cutting. You can, you can run it on lower horsepower machines. You can uh, run it on smaller spindle type machines, even in some live tooling spindles as well. So it just gives you that added flexibility and security that you need in, in applications when you're, when you're machining your part. No, absolutely. And then when it comes to the mounting, we keep talking about the tangential mounting. Let's see really how that compares to, let's say, uh, radial mounting. What do you have to say when it compares those two? Well, it's night and day. So, you know, the, the first thing that comes to mind when you look at a, ta a tangential mounted insert is the access to the screw. So it's easy just to get the get your screw wrench on there and, and unscrew it and index the insert or, or flip it around. When a radial mounted, sometimes depending on a different style of cutter, sometimes you got to angle it in there and you got to hold it just right and stand on one leg and all that kind of stuff to get the screw undone and get, your, get a new insert in there or, or uh, index the insert. And then again, it just goes back to some of the key factors that we've spoke about, Eddie. You know, it's it's going to be that shallow pocket design that gives you that larger core diameter, that gives you that added strength over radial mounted inserts. Uh, it adds, gives you that added uh, stiffness to to bending motions and things, especially if you got to run it in a long overhang situation where you got to hang the tool out a long ways. So it just really gives you that that insert security, the tool security, and the added flexibility to run higher feed rates and higher metal removal rates. Now, you mentioned a term just a second ago, long overhangs. Isn't that something that we should be afraid of? You know, it's nothing that anybody ever really wants to do because we, we know the second we stick things out further than, let's say, what manufacturers recommend or, or what we in our own minds think is too far, we, we know the challenges that that's going to create. And it's going to create uh, chatter, vibration. Uh, carbide inserts do not like any kind of, they like a stable cut. They don't like any kind of vibration at all. So typically, as we hang tools longer out the spindle, further out the spindle, then we end up inducing what's called vibration or chatter, which decreases the tool life. So again, you got a tool hanging out a long ways. You kind of know, okay, this, I'm probably not going to get the best tool life here. I'm probably going to get a little bit of a chatter. And then you got to think about maybe a secondary operation that you're going to have to do because you're going to have to try to get in there and clean the chatter up. So, you know, that's one thing about the Mill 412 KT. You know, it's, it's offered in uh, coarse and medium pitch cutters. It's, it's a variable pitch cutter, which helps cut down and break the harmonics up of the cutter. And then, of course, the design of the insert itself with the margin, the margin on it, it's, it's free cutting and all of those things helps reduce uh, chatter and vibration. So it works very well in, uh, in long overhangs, which none of us like to utilize a tool in long overhangs, but we always do. So it works very well in that type of application. Hey, no, this makes sense. And then when it comes to that point, how is this going to affect our surface finish? Well, you know, surface finish is always something we have to keep in mind, you know. Uh, and again, like I, I said, when it's hanging out a long ways and we get vibration, then we have to start thinking about if we have to run a secondary tool. You know, we're going to have to run a secondary tool to come in and, and clean up or, or to get a better surface finish. Well, the Mill 412 KT insert actually has uh, uh, integrated wiper facet in, in the insert or, or wiper design built into the insert. And it really provides a superior floor finish. And, and it, it provides a very good uh, shoulder finish as, as well. You know, these, these are available in, in what I call two styles of inserts. So we have pressed inserts, and we call them PSTS, press and center to size inserts. And we have ground inserts. So, you know, if, if you really run in a close tolerance part, you need that excellent side finish wall, you need that excellent floor finish wall, then I would recommend using the uh, ground insert. If you're just rough machining or, or, or you don't really need a, a superior uh, surface finish, then you might want to use a more economical uh, pressed insert. Uh, versus over the ground insert. But again, that provides a very good surface finish, whether you're using the ground or the press. Both of them provide very good, very good surface finishes. 
No, this is wonderful reassurance for those applications where surface finish is absolutely vital. So now that we've learned a little bit more about the mounting and the performance of the Mill 412 KT, let's talk about where it's being used within the market. So do you have any specific applications or examples that we could speak to? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, where, where can it be used at? It can be used anywhere. I mean, I, I just want to say that, uh, you know, we have the grades that cover all material classes for the most part. We don't have non-ferrous, but th we do have the insert grades that cover steel, stainless steel, cast iron, and high temp alloys. So when you think about any manufacturing facility, any, any mom and pop shop, any job shop, uh, to an aerospace manufacturer uh, that are running those type of materials. Again, at this time, it's currently not available available in a non-ferrous grade, but it, it does cover all the other material ranges. Uh, it's also available in multiple, multiple corner radii, so from 15 thousandths up to an eighth inch with no modification needed to the cutter body. So it doesn't matter if you're running a 15 thousandths radius or an eighth inch radius. You don't need to modify the cutter body. Sometimes on radial mounted inserts, they try to get the support as high out there as they can on that corner edge. And when you go to a larger radius, sometimes we have to, mod or we have to modify the steel so it don't so it gives it clearance for the radius of the larger insert in the mill 412 kt there's no modification that that needs to be done you know it's a strong insert it gives it that strength you know we did an excellent video a while back we call it swiss cheese and it really shows the versatility of the cutter uh, and nobody likes long overhangs and and nobody likes interrupted cuts so as you can see this cutter going through the the different slots on that part going through all the, all those holes that were drilled in that part and when it was all said and done, we could have ran another part, maybe even a few more parts without indexing the inserts. So that's really a, cha a challenge, you know. Uh, carbide milling cutters don't like going in and out of the cut. They like to stay engaged in the cut. And, and you got to think about the entry and the exit angle for each individual hole. So it really puts a hammering on those inserts. So the Swiss cheese video really demonstrates the strength and the rigidity, not only of the tangential design and mounted inserts, but also of the added core diameter to the cutter body. Now, this is great to be able to see it work in a variety of these applications at the spindle. And then additionally, do you have any general case studies or examples of where this is being used successfully in the field? Absolutely, we do have several different case studies. We have one here. So you can see, we call this a hero product success. So we was running up against some other inserts and, and cutters that were out there. It's uh, <clears throat> A514 material, as you can see there, it is a face mill. It looks like it's uh, a little over three inch diameter and, and, and it was ran and dry on a uh, HMC DMG Mori machine. So basically the, the nuts and bolts of it was is that at the end of the day, uh, I should say at the start of the day, you know, the customer was, was wanting uh, increased metal removal rate, increased production, and improved tool life. So we were able to bring in the Mill 412 KT and run this particular test and we increased tool life by 148%. So we took it from what they were getting 25 parts uh, or 25 minutes of tool life to 62 minutes of tool life per corner on the insert. So a huge cost savings to the customer. They were happy and tickled to death that, that they were able to be able to run for 62 minutes before having to stop the machine and index the insert. So again, I mean, and we got multiple different success stories we can share with people if they can always reach out and we can provide them information as well. No, it's great to be able to see this work at the spindle, but then also hear of success stories that are happening in real time. This is all great information. And as we wrap up this episode, Tony, what are some of the final things that we need to know about the Mill 412 KT? Well, you know, in, in today's current times and, and everybody wants to be more productive and, and everybody's watching, you know, I always say their wallet. You know, I mean, we, we want to reduce the, the amount of different tools we may use in our facility. So the Mill 412 KT is, is a perfect, uh, I call it a plug and play. You can bring it in. Again, we got multiple corner radii to cover the different applications you may need. We got press and center to size or, or pressed inserts. We got ground inserts. Um, and then, of course, um, you know, multiple different diameters on the cutter body. 
We also just I want to make a mention here as well. We also have left handed inserts as well. At this time, we, we don't have the left handed cutter body as a standard, but it is available as a custom. And there's a lot of applications out there where they run right hand, left hand spindles where a left handed cutter may be need needed in that particular production. And, you know, and we've also found that the tangential inserts that, that we have designed work so well that they're being introduced into slotting cutters. So we also have them out there in, in slotting cutters as well. So don't hes hesitate to reach out to us. A lot of the, a lot of the world slotting applications are, are made by custom tools. So here we have a standard insert to, to put into a custom slotting tool if, if you know somebody needs it. But you know, it's just an over, it's a powerhouse. It's a tool. You, you've seen it on the Swiss cheese video. I mean, you know, bring it in, run it run to different grades, run to different radii, and hopefully you can replace some other tools that, that typically you've had to swap back and forth, and, and this can be your go-to tool in your facility. There we go, wonderful info. And for those who are looking for more information, not on just the Mill 412 KT, but all the other amazing products that Canametal brings to the market, where can we get this info? Well, you can go to kinemetal.com. Uh, we have landing pages there that cover mo uh, majority of all our tools. All our tools are going to be at kinemetal.com. You can go to msc.com. You can always reach out to any of your kinemetal representative as well as your MSC metalworking specialist. They'll be more than happy, and they're very knowledgeable and can help you. You can also go to msc.com and MS MSC's uh, Better MRO page as well to get all kinds of additional information on tooling. Wonderful. We've learned so many things. We appreciate you for joining us in being our industry leading expert and thank all of you for joining us on our latest episode of MSC's Tooling Up featuring Kenna Metal. Want more insights and ideas to improve the efficiency and productivity of your operations? Check out the Tooling Up video playlist to see how we can help improve your operations and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out.